Hey everybody, we have a lot of work to do for this update, I think building update number nine we're on now. We're gonna do uh, some painting, some inventory, and all sorts of other things. I'm currently in our future office where we are kind of repainting things and making it look new again because there were some odd choices back when this was put together. What, you don't like wallpaper and then sexy wood paneling down here? Yeah, not really, actually. This screams the 50s when this was built. <laughs> yeah. So we're modernizing it by doing this. By we, painting. <laughs> yes, by painting. We thought maybe we could strip all this off, but then we'd have to strip off all the wallpaper and then finish the walls and then paint them so it's just a lot easier to paint the Wayne's coating. By we I mean my wonderful mom and stepdad Phil who are here helping today but we are doing kind of a gray color for the Wayne's coating and then this green for the wallpaper. Yep. So I think that's gonna look really really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh actually Phil's about to do the first stroke. Ooh. Whoa. Go Phil go. Oh, he's like a pro. He's painted a lot of walls in this building. He sure has. Well, this is being painted, and I have a ton of other stuff to do around the building, so we'll see you around. Guys, look! We put the tree up! It's in retail, and it looks amazing! And today, we're working on this. Ooh, inventory! And eating chocolate. Gummy worms. Gummy worms. We're going to start by putting all of our BioDude products into our inventory software, and that's gonna be fun. We have to put in the price, how much it's gonna be retail, who our supplier is, and their contact info, all that stuff for every single SKU. So this is gonna take all day, but we have BioDude products, we have Pangea stuff, we have Exoterra stuff. So we have a lot of stuff to put in the yeah. inventory, and this isn't even all of it. We're still waiting for several shipments of other supplies, so we better get started. Oh yeah. I never would have guessed that our first product on the shelf would have been springtail food. That can go, I don't know, there for now. But, yep, that's exactly how we're gonna face it too. Can we just get somebody else to come and do this? Yeah, maybe Mandy can peel the yeah, rest off. Maybe. She seemed to like this. Not gonna lie, this is like oddly satisfying to watch. Do it slow. Oh. It's so beautiful. Best. And there it goes. Here's the ASMR section of the video. <laughs> So this just arrived. This is an order of reptile products that we've actually been using for a, from a small business in Pakistan, believe it or not, a family-owned business. And we have snake probes. Oh, there's the probes. Nice. We just, we love his products and have been, been using them over the years. So we thought we'd carry them in the store. Oh, that's cool. This is the mealworm dish. You put mealworms in and then they can't get out, but you could use the other side for other stuff. Snake bags. Snake bags. Oh, that looks like the really nice probing kits. I like how it's like bagged. Yeah, it's in like a fancy bag. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's the, uh, that's the cool. ones. Yep, I like those. Nice. So we're gonna sell probing kits and we've got food slash water dishes. What else is in here? And all the caves, these are all caves. I'm so excited. Ooh, and we have egg incubation trays. What's this look like? Ooh, that's cool. I like it, nice. So yeah, it's just a bunch of miscellaneous products that this family business sells and we have been using for so long that we reached out to them and we're so excited to be carrying all their stuff. And it's not large scale like Zoomed, Exoterra, Zilla. Not that we're not gonna have those, but it's giving a little bit of business to somebody else. Yep, we like supporting smaller businesses whenever possible. Look, green bowls. Oh, cool. Look, gray bowls. Oh, there's so much in here. All right, we stayed pretty late last night working on inventory and only got through like a quarter of it. So we're gonna mix it up today, give ourselves a little bit of a break and work on this. We're gonna build a table today. It doesn't look like a table. It looks like a door the way it's being held right now, but that is gonna be our epic food prep station table. That's gonna go right here. Now 
Okay, now time for the piece de resistance. That was anticlimactic. Yeah, let me get on this side. Okay. Ooh. The shiniest this table will ever be. Yeah, really. Ooh. Ah! Oh, you missed one little spot. And like Emily said, when we're done with prepping, we just go. <sighs> into the garbage. Into the garbage. Yeah. Just I mean, like maybe not that dramatically, yep. but. Every time. That's it's what we part. have to do. It's a part of the job. Okay, you I'll practice. Do I'll that. practice. <laughs> I only have one hand. I'm holding still, a camera. Still, you have to go <laughs> Was that good enough? Yeah. Okay. You pass. Sweet. I guess you get to stay with Snake Discovery. We had to jump away from the table because something very official just happened. We have our very first order from a distributor. That's a big thing. I've always been into. Where is he going? I don't know. Oh, wait. He's running away with our stuff. Never mind. Well, there he goes. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, we're good. All right, well, I guess I'll go set up the camera for our first ZooMed delivery. So uh, we worked all day yesterday to clean up this area from BioDude products, and uh, huh, it's, back. I, it's back. I think we have to start inventory all over again. Okay, we're on the road now. We had to go home because we had to pick something up, and then we noticed these were delivered. These are our official Snake Discovery gift cards. Okay, I made them myself. I'm pretty proud. Are you ready for this? Oh, it's got our information there. That's so cool. Gift card number one. Ah! Look at that! That's our Snake Discovery gift card. That's pretty sweet. That is awesome. That's one of the hogs that we produce too. Mm -hmm. Someone out there watching this owns that hog nose now, which is pretty cool. We okay. still own rights to that picture. We still own rights to the picture. <laughs> and then the other design, because I had to do two different designs, then you can pick which one you want if you buy a gift card, is that. Oh my gosh, we have a tropical version and a, I guess, a hog nose version. I don't know what to call that one, but those are our gift card options. I am so stoked. Those turned out great. Yeah, they did. Another thing we recently bought were shelves to put in front of these walls for reptile enclosures, for reptiles for sale, because I know that's not going to be enough for all the reptiles we'd like to sell here. We're not sure if they're going to work though, so I figure if they don't, we're testing them out. If they don't, we'll put them in the storage room over there for products, but we have to bring them all in now. Woo, shelving units! Ugh, gross. Look at all this snow. Yeah. Windy and cold and yeah. snowy. And it's gonna be negative 15 over the weekend. Yeah, as a high. As a high. Ugh, this is terrible. Why do we live here? Okay, I'm gonna go back inside. <laughs> you got this. Thanks for all your help. Good job. You did a good job. Thank. Yep. You're welcome. I'll bill you later. Ooh, look at all the shiny pieces. Please read instructions prior to assembly. We don't need to read the instructions. What do you think these are? Woohoo! We finished our first shelving unit and it looks awesome! So something I didn't realize is we'll be able to put like labels here for overstock items that are on these shelves and I think they're gonna work really well for the exoterras. We have plans to go in those against the wall. I did not measure the height of the exoterras for the different levels though because we decided this one's going to be used for overstock items regardless. Uh, but yeah, I think this is going to be perfect for all the reptiles for sale. What do you think he's looking at? I think he's got eyes for that water bowl. Yeah, is he going to be our first customer? He might well. By killing us in our sleep you mean customer, then yes. Okay, so tonight we have been building a ton of shelving units for all of the enclosures that are going to house reptiles for sale in the retail back there. And we have so many to make that we're kind of pros at now. So we're going to race each other to see who can build a shelving unit the quickest. This is our hammer. We all have a 2x4 hammer, so it's fair because we don't have four actual hammers. So we're using these. And it has to be completely built, including the little plastic caps on top and on bottom. Three, two... One, uh, go. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure Mandy's gonna win. There you go. That's the way to do it, Emily. Oh, Really, Mandy? I 
think Mandy loses just for doing that. <laughs> yep, Mandy's disqualified. All right, it's up to these three. <laughs> I got the face. Yay! I got the face. Go, Aaron, go. I believe in you, Aaron. Oh, I think Lear is gonna come in second. I think, yeah, I think Lyra came in second. Emily came in third. Go, Aaron, go. Yeah, we respect that, Aaron. Go, Aaron, go. We all believe in you. Oh, no. I believe in you, Aaron. Yeah! All right, you still need caps on top. You're not quite done. All right, Aaron is finishing it up. Go, you gotta put the caps on. Good luck, Juggles. The dinosaur has been watching uh, Aaron build hers. Doesn't wanna go in. We'll cut this part out. Perfect! <laughs> No. <laughs> Yay! Aaron wins. Wait. Aaron wins. Look what's arriving today. We have our fridges and freezers. That one is gonna go here for the classroom or party room, and there's another one that's gonna go out there. Woo! Oh, this is gonna be so great. And one of the main things we needed in a fridge was a freezer that was big enough to fit a DQ cake. And we can fit one right there. Or there. Oh, we can fit two in there? Yeah, we can fit two in there. Oh, that's cool. Sweet. Love it. Now that we have a fridge and freezer in back, we can put all of our drinks in it instead of having to put them outside for 20 minutes to cool them off and then risk them popping if you forget about them outdoors. I'm acting like a cart. You're a good cart. Good job, Ed. What if I drop it in my bad cart? Then you're fired. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there you go. Should we go put them in? Sure. Here's our beautiful fridge, and you may be wondering, hey, isn't this the meal prep station for the reptiles? And the answer is yes. My, you have an astute eye. But while we don't have reptiles here, this will be the human beverages holder. Why and did you lay the Coke to have the Pepsi down? Because I don't like it, so it has to lay on its side. Ah. Yep, it's in timeout. I'm gonna cover it up. Ew, Pepsi. Pepsi's good. Nah. This one, however, can be right up front. We also got our mini fridge and freezer for the retail area, and... Oh, another one right there. Oh, I bet you're right. We could totally fit a third there. Yeah. And thanks to all of your suggestions, we are going to put the cricket bins against the wall as well, using one of the leftover shelves from our shelving. All those from these shelving units, because we don't need the top ones. So we're reusing it here. That's actually gonna look really nice. Wow, that's like a perfect oh, fit. No way. How did that happen? Oh my gosh, it fits perfectly there. Wow, that was meant to be. We're gonna have the crickets on top and the rodents and worms on the bottom. We just need the fridge for worms. Yep, yeah, worms, horn, or, uh, mealworms, mealworms, giant mealworms, and wax, wax worms. worms. And then the freezer for single use or single packages of rodents. Yep. That's pretty small. So let's get another one of those, okay. put it here, and then we can put the third cricket bin right next to it. Oh, that's so cool! And then for, we decided this, for bulk purchases or bulk bags of rodents, we're just going to put a full upright freezer right here, and it'll be kind of self-serve. Everything will be labeled so you can open it up, take what you need, look at it, make sure it's the right size. I've been painting with black, excuse that. And then you can just grab what you need, just like you would any product, and go check out. Oh my gosh, it's a mess in here. Yeah, it wow. was clean. Ignore all that. And then it got dirty, <laughs> and then it was clean again, and now it got dirty. We're running wires today. Yep, today we're running all sorts of wires. The security cameras will be up soon. And we're gonna have cameras installed, mostly for the reptile's safety, in the zoo, which she's also working on, except they're not in the ceiling quite yet. But, yep. We'll have cameras in the zoo too. So yeah, that's what we're doing to solve the issue of where do we put all of the feeders. But all the single rodents, which are more of a high theft item, we're gonna put behind the counter, just cause they're smaller uh, in those freezers. Yep. yep, so we are running a bunch of wires throughout the zoo for all of the security cameras. And, oh, there's Ed. Look, it's Emily filming in her natural habitat. Should we go up into the ceiling? Sure. Uh, I see you. 
see you. Oh, you look really underlit right now. Do I? Or yeah. like a spooky story I could tell. Yeah. Like campfire stories. Oh, look. There's our ceiling. And all the wires. Yep. My face is in a bunch of wires. Look at dark and scary over there. Oh, the gnome might show up there oh. if we're here too long. Okay, I am standing on top of one of our islands. And yep, here here's the zoo. That's Rex's corner for reference. And this is what running wires oh. looks like. Basically, you each have a spot. Ah, ah. Sorry. Usually the wires don't hit your face when they're thrown at you. But now I'm gonna take these and throw them over there. We have to make them go all the way to that corner. So we're kind of playing leapfrog. Why is there a plug in the ceiling? Oh, that's the condensation pump for the AC unit. Ow. Oh, so they must have to come back out and do that. Good still. thing we don't need AC yet. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to throw this through there to Ed. Three, two, one. Eh. Wow, good job. Did it make it? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. All right. So that's how you run wires, everybody. Ugh. It's a really fun job, and everybody should get into it and make that their permanent job forever and ever. You're going to doom a bunch of people if yeah, they get into it. Don't do it. Why, running wires sucks, and I feel really bad. I appreciate the job that a lot of IT workers do when they run wires through buildings. And now, since I need a ladder to get down, and Ed doesn't realize this yet, I'm just going to... What gonna... are you doing? Oh, that's right. You need the ladder, don't you? Yeah, I can't get down from here without one. Oh my gosh. This is actually starting to look like a reptile store. This is amazing. So actually we stopped filming last night because we stayed here really, really late. So it's just Ed and myself here right now. But uh, before we wrap up the video, I kind of want to show you where everything is at. And thanks to our amazing friends' help, we have shelving units on these two walls. This is where a lot of our reptiles for sale are going to be, as well as in the units right there. I think Ed is coming back inside. Yeah, that's why I let you take out the trash, and I stayed in here. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cold out there. What is it? Minus 15 today? I think it was a high of negative 10 or 11, and it's going down. Yeah, it's not getting... It's it's not pretty out there. But yeah, this is where all of our reptiles for sale are going to go, and this looks so cool! Look at that! It wraps all the way around! One thing we are changing with these is instead of doing 12 by 12 by 18s on this top row, we're going to do a 12 by 12 by 18, same thing. And then, since we've got extra space here, we're gonna do an 18 by 18 by 18, fill like up that this. space a little bit more, like that. Yeah, this one's sideways, just to give us an idea of the s space it would take up. It's just 18 wide, so we stuck it in there sideways. Middle shelf, we're gonna do a 12 by 12 by uh, 18, and beside it will actually be the one that's up there. It'll be a 24 by 18 by 18, so it'll look like this. Yeah! That's going to be awesome. And for the bottom row, since we don't want these enclosures limiting what sizes of reptiles we can carry, because we don't want them to be cramped, bottom row is all going to be bigger enclosures for bigger reptiles. So that's kind of our thought process. I had to figure out what to do with the extra space. Oh yeah, we don't know what to do with the space yet. Because there is a little, do, like, do we center it? Or do we push it to the side and put like a product there? But over here, thanks to your wonderful suggestions, we were able to figure out a way to put the cricket bins up there, fridge freezer down here, and Ed is putting together the second freezer that we ended up having space for over there. And we can finally show you what it looks like in the end. And kind of a funny thing that's been happening recently, since a lot of you guys are finding our building here, since it was shown in the receipt in another building update. With the security cameras out front, we're starting to see people driving by or driving through the parking lot and taking pictures of our building through their cars, which is awesome. And it makes us even more excited for when we can finally open and meet all of you in person. And we're getting notes in the doors. So just today, we came into the building and this was in the gate. My name is Cheyenne, but spelled like Cheyenne. I can't wait to see what your reptile zoo looks like. I came by one day to see what the zoo looks like, and I like it. So I might get my school to come to the zoo. That'd be so cool. And Cheyenne, you will definitely be able to meet Cheyenne and others. Adorable. And this card, however, I think happened within the last hour, and we've been spending the last, like, three hours in the back taking care of rodents. So we had the doors locked up here, but when we came back up, we saw this had been slid underneath the door. I'm really curious to see what this says. I think this is a Valentine's Day card and it is Valentine's Day today. Oh my gosh. Oh, it is. This is awesome. Aww. Hope you have a good Valentine's Day. Oh, I love your channel. We can't wait till you open. My kids insist on random drive-bys looking for an open sign even though you haven't announced it yet from the Gintz family. 
Aw, oh, Jenny and Annabelle, thank you so much for sliding a valentine under our door. We were not expecting this or anything like it, so this is awesome. So again, we cannot wait to meet you all in person. Ooh, that looks nice. Freezer, freezer. Freezer. Fridge. Fridge. Yeah, for all the worms. Yep. And yeah, I think we're going to wrap up today's video here because starting tomorrow, which is Monday, we are going to be here, Ed and I and friends and family are going to be here all week working on the zoo enclosures. Now that we have all the supplies for them, we're going to start finalizing some stuff back there. Paul from Custom Reptile Habitats will be joining us. Stuart from Universal Rocks was going to come up, but then his flight got canceled because of the snowstorm and zero degrees in Dallas. Apparently Dallas isn't set up for snowy conditions. I guess Dallas doesn't salt their roads. Like that's just a normal thing here. Come on, Dallas. Come on, Dallas, <laughs> get with the times. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, uh, we'd like to, as always, thank our amazing Patreon backers who without you, we couldn't have been able to come as far as we have. Like. Thank you for all of your support, especially during these tough times. And thank you for watching, everybody watching our videos, because that helps us out tremendously too. Mm -hmm. We are so excited to be so close to having retail open, but we're gonna refocus on the zoo next week, and then we're gonna tie up some loose ends here in retail, and I think we're finally gonna have some sales that we can do up front, but we're still planning a grand opening later because of COVID and because we're waiting on glass and some other things for the zoo. Probably May-ish still? May, June, Maybe something like that. May, June, like... Kind of just depends on the climate of how everything's going with the pandemic. Yeah. We were starting to get, Ed and I were starting to get kind of stressed, like overly stressed by trying to push and get it open as soon as possible. But then we realized we don't want to burn ourselves out. So we're kind of just, we're here a lot still, but we're not stressing over having to do grand opening in say April or maybe even May. It'll, when it's ready, it's ready and we'll keep you all in the loop for sure. Yep, so, we'll just keep putting out these videos until it's ready. Yeah, exactly. So we are still getting there. We're getting really close to, and uh, we're very excited. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you all next time. Guys, look, we put the tree up. Oops, I have to actually aim that right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait, that's copyright. We can't do that.